Hey, welcome to Black Dog Outdoor Sports. How are you? Nice. So what brings you in today? Salmon fishing? Yeah, we're getting close to that time of year. You need more gear? Well, let's get you hooked up. Follow me. So we're gonna need good fly line. We're gonna need um, leader, tippet material, tippet rings, swivels, and weights. We can find all that material in this fixture over my shoulder. So I don't want this to get overwhelming, but we have at least 50 different fly patterns that are suitable for steelhead and salmon fishing. So I'll help you pick out what you need. So when it comes to rod and reel setup, we're looking for something in that seven, eight, or nine weight. So this reel is gonna be my pick right now. This is gonna be one that's a Reddington, it's a behemoth, it's really stout, not crazy money. We're gonna look for 30 pound backing, 200 yards at least, and then a really good quality, suitable, strong line that's gonna accompany that. So other than the other gear, waders and boots, the rod is kind of the final component to this. So there's a lot of really fantastic rod brands out there. Douglas is the brand that I'm going to look at right now. So this brand is a local New York company. They got a wonderful warranty. Um, their sales rep team is fantastic. So they make three different rods that are going to be in three really affordable price points. So starting with uh, the ERA, they have this rod in an eight weight, nine foot, and it's sub 200 bucks. It's got a really stiff backbone with a little bit of a flexible tip. Uh, really, really nice for fighting steelhead and salmon. And then we have kind of the bump up from that, the LRS. They make the LRS in a couple different weights. Uh, we're looking at the nine weight right here. So that one is a little stiffer. It has a lot longer backbone section with a more flexible tip. Um, and it comes in this really cool blue color and it's got a really pretty reel seat. And then we bump up to the DXF. Now the DXF, I fished numerous times on the Salmon River and it's been able to handle 30 pound fish. It's a very sensitive rod, a very strong fighting butt, and it's got a really pretty uh, color and then reel seat. It's a really good value. So this rod is about 600 sub. The LRS is gonna be 300 sub. And then the ERA is 200 sub. So which one do you wanna take out and cast? So you've decided on the DXF. Awesome choice, you're gonna be super psyched about that rod. Well, if you have any questions or if you need anything in the future, you know where we are. Um, and if you want to book a trip in the future, that's something we're putting together. So go ahead, keep those lines tight. Talk to you later.